and the realm of Budlandia rests peacefully tonight. Except for our farmers out in the field. What's up, guys? We are back for more Stone Arth. And uh, I'm noticing our farmers, Walrus and Lovely Mangoes, they've been sleeping on the ground because there's no farmhouse out here. It's funny because some of you have suggested that uh, we have a poor people's quarters down here in the fields. And then uh, kind of like a uh, uh, tiered class system where like the, the upper class are kind of like on the higher level. I thought that was a kind of funny idea, and uh, we may do something like that. We'll see how it uh, how it all goes together. But definitely, the farmers need a house to sleep and put their little veggies in and stuff like that. Maybe some eating tables out here. So yeah, so we're gonna get to building the house right here, finishing up this wall, and uh, it seems to be peaceful for now. Looks like we got this place done as well, almost. And boosh, just like that, the poor house was formed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not a poor house, but uh, it's definitely gonna be a house. Our little, uh, I guess, barn where everyone's going to kind of sleep who's uh, down here in, in the workforce, uh, working away, keeping the, uh, the upper nobles happy and fed and clothed and all that. Well, actually, we have clothing right here, but we're eventually going to build buildings for all these uh, worker people on, on the, I guess, appropriate levels. But yeah, so that's cool. So I figure we're going to build this farmhouse right here. Let's actually go ahead and, like, uh, finish it off. There we go. Finished editing. That looks, wow, 35 stone. This is the biggest house we've built yet, so one reinforced door, two double... That sounds right. That looks right. Okay, build it. Build it up. Yes, and no errors. Okay, awesome stuff. Yeah, so we are building up the poor house, and <laughs> and then eventually we're going to get roads going right through here, and maybe like right through here, and we can continue the fields uh, over on this way. Uh, I think eventually we'll, we'll continue the fields over here, get this menu out of my face, because I won't see it anymore. Menus are a pain in the butt sometimes. All right, so we got this thing cracking up here. Cool, cool, and uh, yeah, still pretty quiet around here. But we got lots of food, and uh, I guess the uh, progress report for getting a new settler should come shortly. So it has been several days, and I'm finding that the pathfinding in this game, when you have lots and lots of people living in a city or a town, is poor. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like most people are stuck at pathfinding. Can't really uh, get any work done. Uh, this house has been sitting here. Oh, look, looks like we got somebody on the job. Here we got Lafayette on the job. This wall is still slowly, extremely slowly coming along as everyone's kind of just uh, stuck for the most part. Uh, yeah, so it's a little bit frustrating. So I'm going to let time go by. This may be the last episode of this series because I don't like waiting around uh, for everyone to find their path. This is a shame you can't assign like manual orders to people, you know, kind of like in room world if like you needed to. You could always go ahead and assign orders, but like this game you just have to like wait it out. And it's annoying. So, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. But okay, so hopefully we can finish some stuff here, put some stuff together, and uh, yeah, like, like have something going on here. Maybe some roads or something. Not even seeing any enemies actually. Engine error. Alright guys, well I tried a whole bunch of things, waiting a whole bunch of days. I tried uh, reissuing the orders to build all the buildings by clicking on it here, saying finish editing and go ahead and build. And bada boom, no errors there. Uh, I tried uh, like doing all this kind of stuff and just, uh, I don't know, I, I can't get everyone from being in uh, an idle mode. Everyone's pretty much stuck in idle. No one's really doing a thing. And uh, that's, that's quite unfortunate. So we're going to have to end this series here. Unfortunately, but at least at least the people of Budlandia are are alive in Newlandia <laughs> with new friends And uh, yeah, this is gonna be like one of the shortest episodes ever But I guess uh, yeah, I guess I'll post this later on in the day as like a bonus episode I'll probably post something else earlier today uh, To, uh, to uh, I guess cover up this stuff, but okay. All right. Sorry guys. It's been great uh, And I guess now we can all just kind of chill by the fire and just relax uh, rest of the days through because uh, yeah, we're not even getting any enemies now. That's a shame. So all right I'll see you guys in the next series Yep, and just so many errors. I'm trying to let this thing continue out and we just got a new settler and uh, Yeah, he doesn't have any stats or anything like that. So unfortunately, yes, the series must end I guess that's what happens. I, I was warned that when you get a lot of townspeople uh, stuff starts happening like this So I guess that's true. Yeah, so if you want to build a big city right now I guess it's not the time to do it but hopefully the uh, developers will see this. I'm sure they know this stuff, so I guess they're going to go ahead and update it some more. But alright, so I will see you guys in the next series.